Matthews Police Department is investing in a professional crime forecaster. These companies say they can try to know in advance when and where crime will happen so police can prevent it. Our Tina Terry is live at a shopping center off Matthews Township Parkway tonight where police say they've already put this plan to work. Tina? Yeah, police say earlier this year they used crime analysis to predict when criminals were ripping off a store here in this shopping center. Now they want to do the same thing more often across town to keep you safe. It may not look like crime fighting, but it is. We would look at, you know, the days they're happening, the times of day they're happening. Officer Tim Acock spends part of his day looking at software like this, analyzing crime trends. Crime analysis is basically a definition of it is just to look at patterns and trends, and you kind of follow those trends and patterns where they lead you. Uh, that way you can efficiently, you know, put those officers where they need to be. They used it during an undercover sting this summer to bust more than a dozen people accused of stealing from a Lowe's store. Now ACOG says the department is hiring a full time crime analyst, paying them up to $63,000 a year. The goal of law enforcement in general is not to catch criminals, it's to prevent the crime from occurring in the first place. It comes at a vital time. The most recent Matthews crime report showed violent crimes like murder, robbery and aggravated assault were all up since 2017. People who've heard about violent trends in public places like this hope this new plan works. Analysis is good because it shows you what time uh, that your main problem occurs and then you don't have to waste manpower. I think any proactive action is positive. And ACOG says that most police departments in our area already have a crime analyst on staff. For example, CMPD has an entire unit, which includes about 13 analysts. And Matthews is hoping that their new position will come on by the end of fall. Back to you. All right, Tina, thanks very much.